Spoiler warning! I'll be talking about the 8th episode of AQB Sailor Uniform in this video. And if you haven't seen the episode yet, then I suggest you watch it first and then come back here. Okay? Okay. So this episode was just thrilling, exciting and adorable at the same time and let's just get over it. So we are first shown a scene in the pool inside the gym, while characters we've met before are all present. We have Kizaki Erika, Usagi Haratoko, Tomono Kojo, Kei Tanigawa, Okuma Minoru, Kami Mokuneko, Ayumi Togiguchi, Hotaro Hiraiwa, Riona Shijo, Yasuko Nawashiro, Hitomi Washio, Oshizu Hebimori, and Mai Togano. They were all watching from a distance as we then get to see Ai Tatsumori, Riri Minakami, and Kumichi Akibi. Both of them were in their swimsuits and Akibi looked really serious here. And just as they were about to start swimming, the opening plays and I'm just left here confused as to what's going on. After the opening finishes, we then start with all of them having a meeting for their athletic festival. I just love Ai Tatsumori's character to be honest, I just love her snarky attitude. I also think it's cute we get to see each character during this scene. There was one with Kami Mokuneku waking up from her slumber and that was pretty adorable. After giving out roles for each and every one of their classmates, Okuma Minoru, Ai Tatsumori, Riri Minakami, and Komichi Akibi are all representing their class for the swimming event, while Kizaki Erika suggests Akibi to be the anchor for the swimming event. The spotlights were now on to Akibi, while Riri Minakami has been to the nationals before. The gap between them was huge. Once classes were over, Riri Minakami and Akibi have a little talk, and she then strikes a deal with Akibi. If she wins, she would trade her blazer uniform for Akibi's sailor uniform. The stakes are high now, and Akibi had to win no matter what. And then, Riri Minakami was greeted by Ai Tatsumori in the staircase as the two talk about what just happened earlier. I'm starting to love Ai Tatsumori's character even more here. She's responsible, she's serious, she's caring for other classmates, she's a good sport, and not to mention, she spoke out for Akibi here and, well, the shots shown here are just gorgeous. She's really an adorable girl. Riri Minakami then asks a favor for Ai Tatsumori if she wins the bet. Akibi then immediately looked for her swimsuit as soon as she came home. Now I also love the consistency here when her mother told her that she just wore it when she was hanging out with Kizaki Erika, and that was a few episodes ago. Afterwards, we get a brief moment of fear from Akibi. Her eyes were teary. She was afraid to lose the uniform she loves. And she even just learned that her mother made her a summer uniform. So she had to win this at all costs. I also love how her mother was simply joking around and stuff, while for Akibi, it was a life or death situation. And next scene later, we're already back to where we started in the first scene of the episode. But we get more scenes from it. Riri Minakami was ready to do this, while Akibi was serious as ever. Even Riri Minakami was shocked at seeing her this determined to win. We also get a fetish shot of Akibi's... <coughs> nope, not even gonna say it. And the two start doing their best to win. Akibi and Riri were neck and neck to each other, and it was pretty sweet when Kizaki Erika cheered for Akibi. What a good way to show that you're her girlfriend alright. The animation here as well was just breathtaking as usual, as both reached the goal and couldn't tell who got there first, Ai Tatsumori revealed who won, and it was Riri Minakami. Devastated from the fact that she has to hand over her sailor uniform to Riri, she holds back her tears as they overflow, only for Riri Minakami to jump out of her line to give her a hug as she really enjoyed the race she had with her. It was then revealed that it was all a joke, so Akibi would take this seriously, and she thanked her for the fun experience. Afterwards, all of them hang out in their classrooms only to know that if Riri Minakami doesn't pass her makeup exams, she won't be able to participate in the event. 
And this is where we learn about what favor Riri Minakami asked Ai Tatsumori earlier. It was if she won, Ai would help her study for her makeup exams. And seeing Ai's flustered face was so adorable as we get to see her handwriting as well. I gotta say, it's pretty organized. Her handwriting looks neat and clean. And I love the effort she made, which suits her character, and I think that's pretty cute. Then we get a study group moment with all of them present, and that was pretty cute and wholesome. And then the next day, her father didn't want to leave for work just yet, as he wants to see his daughter in the new uniform. And he gets to do just that. I really love the panning as always whenever they do a full reveal or full shot of Akibi in a new uniform or outfit. It's just cute. And the animation was aesthetically pleasing as always. Kao asks her to do a spin just like Fukumoto Miki. And Akibi does just that. With her new uniform on, she looks and moves as graceful as ever. And that's where the episode ends. But hang on, there's more. Just like a Marvel movie, this episode has an end credit scene. And I just love how we get a first person view from Kao's eyes as she heads to the room and tries to get the sailor uniform. She stumbles and gets the uniform but was scared to be caught. Once Akibi enters the room, she sees Kao sad and down as she tells her she's not cool like her. Akibi then comforts her as she wraps the blue ribbon from her sailor uniform onto Kao. She was very happy and cheerful again as she asks her, do I look cool? She responds, yep, very cool. And the episode ends there. I gotta say, Akibi best older sister of the year, fight me. Now this episode really got me thrilled and was actually feeling scared to see Akibi all sad and depressed if she loses. The tension was there, and I was really getting scared. Luckily we didn't get to that as it was all a joke. Now if I were to rate this episode, I would give it another 10 out of 10. This was just a ride to sit through and the wholesomeness at the later half of the episode was just what I needed after what the first half gave me. I pretty much enjoyed this episode as well, no problems here. I love how we get to see familiar faces again, seeing Akibi being serious that something for once was pretty interesting, and seeing Akibi being a good older sister as she always has in previous episodes. And that's all I have to say for today's reaction or review. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll be seeing you guys next time. See ya!